Last year in 2009 on Discovery Channel, I was watching a segment on can animals be psychic and know what their owners are thinking. And I've always wondered that because the one time I always recognize my cats know what I'm thinking is when I want to eat ice cream. I just have to think about it or carefully open the freezer door, try not to make a sound, carefully carry it over to the table. And within seconds, even if they're sleeping, I've got one or two cats, <laughs> meow, begging for some ice cream treat. <laughs> I always put a little bit on the lid and let them lick it off. Well, the next thing that made me think about what I had just witnessed on Discovery Channel was 20 years ago I was at my friend's house in Malta. That's an island in the Mediterranean. He had a pet budgie that was just in love with him. It would just do everything he asked. It could talk a little bit. It was so thrilled when he came home from work. Oh, my cats are psychic. Every time I come outside and talk, I get a kitty. Right? Hey, sweetie. So, he was telling me how his budgie knew when he was coming home from work. Even when he was miles away from home. He just drove an ordinary escort car with a standard exhaust system. He couldn't hear it over the traffic or anything else like that. Well, it was true. I stayed there for a week. And every day for five to ten minutes before he arrived in his driveway, this budgie went crazy. It was exactly on time every time. This budgie knew for sure when he was coming home. And he was locked inside of a home with the windows closed. So that's kind of like psychic too. But on Discovery Channel they had an African gray parrot. The ones that speak the best, probably one of the most intelligent birds in the world other than black crows. And this a parrot was taught not just to speak English but to understand it and speak to you and converse and talk about things or d describe things that it's seen. You know, you could show it something and it would always tell you exactly true what it was. You could do little math questions, it could sort things out, on and on. A very well trained bird. Well this bird was noticed by a visitor a few times that it seemed to know ahead of time what its owner was doing when it was in another part of the house when the visitor was watching it like the bird was psychic so so they looked up on the internet and found someone and this was in Britain or the UK or something like that who was studying such a phenomenon and that person came to this person's house and set up an experiment they put the bird in the farthest away room in the person's home got the owner to go to the opposite room on the other end and showed this person just pictures, photographs and line drawings of just different situations. For example, there was a person standing beside a car in the street talking on a cell phone. There was a, a nude loving couple walking in hands down a beach. Um, there was just all kinds of just ordinary human situations or objects and they showed this bird like many pictures. Well, I mean they didn't show the bird, they showed the owner many pictures and then far away in another room they asked the bird what the owner was looking at and it was all videoed. The bird got this right 60 to 70 percent of the time describing in detail like nude couple walking down the beach, man talking on cell phone, uh, st stuff like that. The bird described it perfectly in English. I was convinced. Now I always always raised a person being very logical that this isn't logical. How can someone be psychic? Is there electromagnetic energy radiating from our minds? Uh, well, our minds do work with chemicals and electromagnetic energy, or electrical energy anyways. That's how all our nerves fire and our synapses work. So now I'm wondering, how far can this travel? Who can pick up on us? Can God read our thoughts? Stuff like that. Can children read parents' thoughts? I've always wondered this with dogs. I do a lot of service calls in the evenings and go to various, very many people's homes and meet all kinds of dogs. And I've always believed that dogs can sense fear. I don't know if it's you're giving up the scent of adrenaline or they're reading your mind, but I never show any fear and the dogs usually quickly back away. And people who show fear, the dog is right up there yap, yap, yap and driving them crazy and scaring them more. So I, I hope there's more research, research done on this. Uh, it's just incredible. It opens up unlimited possibilities for what could be real. 
I really don't want to believe it, but I have a couple more examples. Uh, one is my sister. She was at a fair, just a regular fair, and at the one end of the fair they had psychics in all different tents, and it started to rain, so they wanted to get out of the rain, so they walked into the cheapest psychic tent, her and her boyfriend, and this person gave tape-recorded readings. Uh, this person didn't know anything about my sister. This was just the cheapest tent. And this person made a very interesting tape. I got to hear it. It was like her lover wrote this, or uh, it was like her lover was asking the questions, or her brother or someone in the family. No one could have known such personal things about her. It was incredible. <laughs> I heard the tape. It was like her boyfriend made him shut the tape recorder off because there was things about him on there and <laughs> he was getting very embarrassed. There was another situation where I was just sort of fooling around with an older woman having a sort of a summer love affair. Didn't really like her that much. She was a lot of fun but she smoked and that kind of turned me off and she was all distraught that I was never trying to have a relationship with her and one day she called a psychic just out of the phone book uh, Kitty, you're, you're bothering my camera. And the psychic just said, hold something that was mine. And there was a key over there that was mine. <laughs> Kitty, you're psychic. And this person who had never knew anything about me, knew my first name, knew exactly the situation my relationship was in, described it to a T. It, I, like it was incredible. <laughs> I, f I found it very embarrassing. And he was right on when she described this phone call to me afterwards. And this was just a guy on the telephone. So, I'm not telling you guys to believe because I am really confused now, but I think we're on to something. I think, I wish there was some way to make a receiver, some way to scientifically prove this. You know, we couldn't prove there was a such thing as radio waves or radio transmission or electromagnetic transmission until we made a receiver. Well, some minds can receive, it seems like. I wish we could duplicate that by making an electronic device that could receive the same things and tune in what we wanted to hear. <laughs> I'm intrigued.